hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we're going to learn how to find the perimeter and area of polygons perimeter there are many formulas or shortcuts for finding the perimeter of polygons so maraming shortcut or kung mapapansin natin meron tayong or menang perimeter but the only one you need to remember is add all sides okay just simply add all sides tandaan natin ng natin ay just simply add or isa sum up lang natin lahat ng sides ng polygon so this will work for all polygons so we have here examples so at the left side we have the rectangle okay so, sa rectangle na yan, sa left side, papansin natin, uh, meron siyang uh, width na 3 at meron siyang length na 8. Okay? So, paano makuha ang perimeter? Again, just simply add all the uh, sides. So, P stands for perimeter is equal to, we have the 3 or the width. 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 8 is equal to 22. Therefore, the perimeter of the rectangle, certain rectangle is equal to 22. Okay, at the right side, we have the pentagon. Okay, so different measure of sides. So, as we observe, we have the sides uh, 4, 5, 5, 4, and 7. So, yun ang measures ng panyang mga sides. So, again, para makuha ang perimeter, just simply P is equal to, then add all the sides. We have 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 7 is equal to 25. Therefore, the perimeter of the pentagon is equal to 25. So, another example, we have the triangle at the left side. Uh, 9, 9 and 4 ang measures ng kanyang sides. So, Perimeter or P is equal to just simply add all the sides 9 plus 9 plus 4 is equal to 24. Therefore, the perimeter of the triangle is equal to 22. So, the last one we have another example we have the trapezoid. Uh, the sides, the measures of their sides we have 13, uh, B sub 1 or the base, then B sub 2 we have 4, then the another side we have 7, then 7. So again, P is equal to simply add all sides. 13 plus 7 plus 4 plus 7 is equal to 31. Therefore, the perimeter of the trapezoid is equal to 31. So area of rectangles. Think of filling the rectangle with boxes. All answers should be in a square units. So tandaan, always in the square units. So we have on the left side, we have the rectangle. 4 columns by 3 rows or 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So, this is the length times the width. Okay, tandaan natin sa area ng rectangle, um, ang formula niya is A is equal to L times W or A stands for area, then it's called L length and W is stands for width. Okay, so area or A is equal to length times width. So we have here rectangles. Okay. Uh, on the left side, we have um, the width. Uh, the measure of width is 5 and the length is 51. So area is equal to length times width. So just simply substitute the values. We have width is 5 and length is 51. So A is equal to 51 times 5 is equal to 255 then always remember put the square units okay so a is equal to 255 square units another example is a rectangle so at the right side with a length of 38 then with this 12 um a is equal to substitute na then the length is 38 and W, uh, the width is 12. Okay, so 38 times 12 
is equal to 456 square units. Area of parallelograms. So the formula of area of the parallelograms is equal A is equal to B times H. Whereas A is the area, stands for area, B stands for base, and H stands for height. Okay, so we have the example. Kahit natin sa figure or sa picture, we have the parallelogram. So meron siyang height, then B. So tanda natin, the height must form a right angle with a base. Okay, so magform siya ng right angle with a base. So pa we have here two parallelograms. At the left side, we have the height is equal to 7, and then the base is equal to 10. So, halos pareha sila doon sa uh, rectangle, which is uh, sa parallelograms, the area or A is equal to B times H. So, subject the values, the parallelogram in the left side, we have 7 or 10, B, the base is 10, times the H or the value of H and the height is 7. So, 10 times 7 is equal to 70 square units. Okay? So, again, tandaan natin kapag area, that's always square units. Okay. So, the next one at the right side, we have the parallelogram. A is equal to B times H. The value of the base is 16 and the value of H or the height is 6. Okay? Just simply 15 times 6 equal to 90 square units. So, area of triangles. So, in the area of triangle, the formula is A is equal to 1 half times B times H, whereas the B is the base and H is height. Ganun pa rin. Okay? So, 1 half times base times height ang area ng triangle. So, we have here example. Um, so, the, in the figure, we have the height is 7, the value of height is 7, and then the base is 21. So, just simply subject the value, the values. So, A, the area is equal to 1 half times, as the, val the value of B is 7, then times height, the value of H. The height is 21. So, 1 half times 7 times 21 is... Oh, 7 times 21 is equal to 147. Okay. Then, 147 divided by 2 would be equal to 73. 1 half or 73.5 square units. That's the area of the triangle, specific triangle. So we have here right triangle at the left side. So the value of the height is 8 and the value of base is 6. So subject the values we have is equal to 1 half times base times height, whereas uh, 6 times 8 and then area is or A is equal to 24 square unit. Then another example at the right side, equilateral or isosceles triangle. Okay, so so the value of or the base, ang base natin is uh, 10 and ang height natin, kita natin sa figure 5 square root of 3. Okay, so simply substitute the values so, alam natin pag isosceles or equilateral, that's 60 degrees lat. Okay? And then, again, kapag sa isang triangle, that's 180 degrees all in all. Okay? So, again, subject the values, we have 1 half times 10 times 5 square root of 3. Therefore, the value or the area of the equilateral or isosceles triangle is 25 square root of 3 square unit. So we have the area of trapezoids. 
okay in the figure we have the trapezoid we have the b sub 1 is the base 1 and then b sub 2 and the height okay so a the area of the trapezoid a is equal to one half times h quantity b sub 1 plus b sub 2 okay so meron tayong example na trapezoid with a base 1 with a measure of 8 and the base sub 2 is 12 and the height is 6 so just simply subject the values area or a is equal to one half times h the value of h or height is 6 and then b sub 1 quantity then 8 plus the b sub 2 is 12 okay so just simply uh, multiply we have this is one half okay times three that's six over two or divided by two that's three and then 20 20 is 8 plus 12 so a is equal to 60 square units so yan ang area ng trapezoid okay we have here another example of trapezoid with 45 degrees so as we observe in the figure or in the picture uh, the value of h or the height is 6 okay then the b sub 1 or the base 1 is equal to 8 and the b sub 2 is 14 ang value okay so sub subject the values 1 half times 6 quantity 8 plus 14 and then 1 half um, 8 plus 14 is 22 so 6 times 1, one half or 6 times 1 is 6 divided by 2 and then times 22 then that's equal to 66 square units okay so another example I saw Celeste trapezoid um, the height the value of height is, is 5 square root of 3 and the value of base or b sub 1 is 6 and b sub 2 is 16 okay just simply subject the values we have 1 half times 5 square root of 3 kasi yan ang value nya then quantity ang b sub 1 natin we have 6 then plus 16 the b sub 2 then 6 plus 16 22 and then 1 half times uh, 5 square root of 3 times 22 then 5 square root of 3 times 11 then equal to area or a is equal to 55 square root of 3 square units area of rhombi or rhombus and kites so at the left side that's rhombus the right side that's kite so d sub 1 and d sub 2 are the whole diagonals so tanda natin na meron tayong d sub 1 and d sub 2 whereas ang um, yan yung the whole diagonals so the value of or the formula of the area of the area it's we have a is equal to one half times d sub 1 times d sub 2 so we have here the area of the regular polygons uh, s stands for side a is equal to apotem and r is equal to or the stands for radius okay so we have the hexagon um, a is equal the area is equal to one half times a times p again a is the apotem and p is the p is the perimeter so rhombus and kite at the left side we have the rhombus so meron tayong two diagonals diagonals nya ay 8 saka 8 then 6 6 okay so a, a or area is equal to one half d sub 1 times d sub 2 subject the values d sub 1 is equal to 12 12 kasi 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 times 
they sub to 16. 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. Then, 1 half times 12 times 16 is equal to 96 square units. At the right side is the kite. So, meron siyang um, D sub 1. Ang D sub 1 niya ay 8 kasi 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 and then D sub 2 is 10 because 3 plus 7. Okay? That's 10. So, subject lang natin. We have 1 half times 8 times 10 is equal to 40 square units. Okay, so we have here the regular hexagon. So, the regular hexagon. So, P again stands for perimeter. 6 times 6 kasi 6 lahat yung side. And then, uh, 6 ang measure or measurement. So, kaya naging 6 times 6. Then, the perimeter is 36. So, this nakuha natin ng perimeter. So, kunin natin ng yung apotem. So, ang apotem, since um, yung side na nakita natin, we have, kasi nakakabot tayo ng triangle, ba? And then, we have siya. So, gidivide natin dalawa. Equally, we have 3. Then, 3. Kasi 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Then, okay? So, ang gagawin natin, we have, since given ang uh, 5, okay, so we have 3 squared plus x squared is equal to 5 squared. So, 3 squared, para makuha natin yung apotem, okay, subject natin dito, so 5 times 5 is 25, so lipat natin sa kabila, 3 times 3 is equal to 9, Okay, tapos minus natin 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. So, since meron tayong x squared, para makuha natin yung, ang x squared yan, yan yung value ng apotem. So, ilipat natin yung squared. So, x is equal to square root of 16. Whereas, the perfect square siya, so 16 is equal to 4. Therefore, ang x natin ng apotem is equal to 4. So, since nakuha na natin, just simply substitute the values. Okay? So, A is equal to 1 half times ang apotem where the value is equal to 4. Then, ang perimeter times perimeter 36. So, 1 half times 4 times 36 is equal to 72 square units. Okay? Okay, so that's all. So, I hope uh, nakakuha kayo ng idea or uh, yes how to find the perimeter and area of the polygons